Can you tell us what you're doing? What, what are black people? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm from the, a place in England where there's not many white people. Bro. <laughs> the black vlog. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's called the the tattoos of Times Square. Yeah. It's going to be a coffee table book, and I'm doing three dip, three volumes of it. Nice. About two to three hundred pictures per volume. Excellent. So uh, that's basically what it is. Yeah, you know, that's it. Just something to sit on the coffee table, people to leap yeah. through, There's you know a, what I mean? I bet you didn't expect to see a, a white English man with a black panther <laughs> tattoo, did you? That <laughs> <laughs> well, is a little different. <laughs> but then again, you live in Harlem, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, brother. No problem, bro. What, Mush? <laughs> well, I'm here uh, at the World Trade Center. You know, we, we came over, I went to Starbucks to, so I could uh, have some Wi-Fi, you know, I got, I got some, some news that uh, my opponent, Josh Barnett, is unable to, to compete. Sadly, he's uh, pulled his hamstring, you know, one of, one of those things, so uh, I won't be competing now. They did offer me another match. I have no interest in another match. Uh, I only put my name in because they were struggling to get an opponent for Josh Barnett, and it was a big, uh, it was a big thing for me because he's the greatest catch wrestler of them all. You know, um, I've attended his seminars a few times. I've learned from him, from the man, uh, and it, it could be a blessing in disguise for the simple reason that I tore my bicep uh, five weeks ago. And I've not been able to wrestle in, in all this build-up. I've not been able to actually wrestle. Uh, I, I was struggling just with day to day, wiping my ass, but, but it was almost impossible. Yeah, uh, and, and I've also damaged my my leg. I've been I've been you know I've been walking about America in a lot of pain since getting here. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, going in against the greatest catch wrestler of all time, uh, unable to to wrestle and injured was maybe a stupid thing anyway. But I put my name down, you know, and uh, it was a great opportunity for me for me, wasn't it? Um, I've not competed now for about 17 months because I've been played with with injuries. I've, I've been, you know, I've been in, in, in the middle of it. I'm 40 now. Uh, I've been competing in combat sport and other sports most of my life. Uh, I won't be competing anymore. This was going to be uh, this was going to be it. But, uh, the great thing is I, I've, you know, I've, I've been to Times Square Church while over here, and it's it's amazing. You know, uh, I'm here now at the, the World Trade Center Memorial and. What happened on September 11th is just an atrocity, isn't it? It's absolutely terrible. And the grand scheme of things, this sporting contest of mine, there's, there's nothing to be miserable about, is there? I remember 9-11 well. I remember being in Moore's gym in Stockton and uh, there was a man laughing about it. And he started saying some bad things about what uh, what's going to happen and how and both America and Britain are going to be, I don't want to say, something up by the people who he believed in. I hit him with a left hook mid-sentence, dropped him, knocked him out, uh, picked him up. As he woke up, I put him to sleep again. I knocked him out twice within a few seconds. And I remember Paul Epstein, the, the old guy in there running, shouting, crazy guy, crazy guy, calm down, crazy guy. And a uh, young kid, it was his first day at work, George. I remember him saying, George, get some ice put with George, wondering what was going on. And I remember, you know, I, I shouted, there was a full busy weightlifting gym full of big steroids. I remember shouting, uh, I love my country, I love England and I love America and I'm studying now in the United States and you know I repeat that I love America I love what this country stands for you know it really is uh, the land of the free and the home of the brave and I love England yeah I'm you know I love I love liberty um, I'm a proud Christian man yeah and uh, what happened that day is immoral it's terrible and uh May all of those terrorists rot in burning hell forever. And, uh, you know, it's just terrible, isn't it, that, that, that these bad things can happen, yeah, in, in, in a time like this. And uh, hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again. I'd just like to say that, I'd just like to thank all the, the people that have served for for our, for our great countries to give us freedom. Because, you know, a, a lot of us, we, uh, we, we live a very easy life, don't we, because of what our forefathers have done for us. We kind of live off the spoils of war to, to a certain extent. I just want to say that uh, we should all count our blessings. And I, I believe everything's God's plan. Um, so I, I'm not going to allow this to... Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to feel down at the end of the day. Um, 
it's a blessing, isn't it? I've not been able to wrestle for, for five weeks. I've been doing what I can. I've been I've been doing some crazy things to try and heal myself, to be honest. Things I don't want to go into, but uh, it, it is what it is. So we're on the New York subway. We went on uh, was an open top bus. To, uh, then, then we didn't know where to get back home. We've been stranded. Uh, been stranded for a while and I said Caleb listen let's get on the subway you grew up riding the subway he's a tramp you're a lady Is he coming home? Are England going to win? Don't do drugs. New York pizza makes up for anything. Even England getting knocked out of the World Cup. I mean, not competing. Good pizza. Always saves the day, is that right Caleb? Cowabunga dude!